I'm a third generation Martin in the, this area. Chad rode up the valley on horseback in 1929 and took ownership of Sherwood. My uh, grandfather, he farmed here all his life with uh, merino sheep and cattle. Our Cherry Bell and Sherwood, now 20,000 acre property uh, in the central west of New South Wales. We started breeding the clean body modern merino on Cherry Bell and Sherwood in about early 2000. We did this because it is more suited to the environment here. Uh, the clean body and clean breech has really helped us with any sort of fly problems. Uh, there's recently been international demand for our wool because we are taking the opportunity now to not mules our animals. Uh, this is a huge thing uh, in international markets. It is at the forefront of every wool buyer's mind. The fact that we take into consideration pretty much every animal's welfare is very appealing and very marketable. The modern merino to us is a clean bodied animal with no neck folds, good clean head. Lately we've been aiming to get our animals with a larger frame for um, a heavier wool cut. We've found that these clean body animals are uh, doing a wonderful job for us. They can handle the country very well. The sheep that we used to breed was a wrinkly, tight sheep with a very thick skin. We seemed to spend a lot of time preventing fly strike. The lamb's doability wasn't great. They were a problematic animal to uh, rear. We then have progressed with the SRS system to a sheep that is plain bodied and we've uh, got away from all those problems. There's been significant benefits for us in that our micron has dropped and been more consistent. Our lambs cut about 17.2 micron and uh, the broadest sheep we cut on the property, our five-year-old ewes, they cut about 18.4. There's been significant positive effects from using the mumblebone rams. We have definitely improved our lambing percentages the staple length, the actual frame of the animal has improved significantly. We find the mumblebone sheep are very true to type. This has a flow on effect to our ewes as well and our lambs. I believe that the mumblebone sheep are the very, very top of the Australian flock in these categories and it, the figures show them. The importance of having a good team around me is that for us it's the welfare of the animals. The team that I have around me, consisting of Katrina and Adam, Matt, Charlene and Lise, are fantastic. We want to know that you know, every animal is given the utmost respect and is, is treated how we would like them to be treated. Sustainability to me is very much on the forefront. You know, I live here with my wife, Tori, and, and three children, Holly, Tom and Oscar. Um, having the opportunity to raise them the same way I was brought up is just, it's, it's fantastic. I want to make sure that I leave this country in as good or better condition for them to continue farming for generations to come. In breeding this uh, plain bodied merino, we've been able to stop mules in some 10 years ago and to get the benefits that we're getting today in the wool market, it's fantastic. So yeah, look, I'm very happy in the way the uh, modern merino has evolved. There is no doubt that the Australian wool clip is, is far superior to other wool clips in the world and quality of our wool is second to none.